All right, Christopher, so we were saying previously you had an overload in one of your videos you sent to me. Yeah. And your hips were going uphill because of it. So now that you're, you are using the knee lift all the time? No. Just <laughs> keeping it here, I have no idea. Why? why? I That's okay. Now, this is all like I have to go by, so yeah, I'm going to go with what you're doing. Yeah. But even in that knee lift, you are correct because you firmed up this back leg and see how your knee stayed inside your ankle. So no matter what your style is, whether you're a hip coil, a toe touch, a knee lift, that back knee has to post up and stay firm inside your shoe, which it did. So, so nice shot. That was good. Now I want to see your hands go back as you're advancing. Stay back. They're coming forward just a hair early. I know this is a high-speed camera. So when I say they're coming forward a little bit, I'm talking just a couple frames. So that's about a, just hundredths of a second. It's very little. But I want you to try to maintain that pullback as long as you can because when you decide to, fi decide to fire your hips, your legs are stronger than your upper body. Your hands are going to be pulled forward. You have no choice if you're committing your swing. So hold that pullback into your foot down. Hips are doing a good job of generating here. Now I can see that as I put this like pane of glass behind your back shoe. So your hip pulls that shoe away from it. There. Yeah, you'll see guys that aren't using their hips very well, that heel Spin would it kick it out. Yeah. So you guys, you're doing a nice job That's there. That's what Alan uh, was doing when uh, I did the one with you with Alan. Actually, I did two with you with Alan. Yeah, I remember that. He was kicking out a little yeah. bit. And it's kind of making this front foot come back a yes. little bit. Yep. So the length of your swing is actually, you're holding the bat pretty deep in that top hand, though. Did I, did I say anything about no. that previously? I can tell you're holding it way back there. So you do? No, he said okay. <laughs> did you know that he was doing that? So that's going to take away some of the natural whip action of your bat, which I don't want to have Got happen. But Show him. There you go. There you go. Is that good? That's better. Yeah, so basically if you can put it down and just kind of waggle it from side to side or up and down, Without changing the grip, see I'm holding it right there right now, not back there. I know that feels goofy, but you need to get that correct at your age. What I was saying is your hands, rear elbow, and pant line are all lining up. The bat's staying very tight to your shoulder. So if I compare you to the pro guy, Canerco here. So you compared him to Yep. You'll see that that matches up very well at that same position. Well, you're well into the turn. Bat stays tight to the shoulder. You're definitely inside the ball. And by the time I rotate forward to contact, that rear elbow is just in front of your body line. Your palm up, palm down. Front leg is firmed up, and the back leg is fully turned up into the back shoe. So really, everything is correct right there based on what we were working on previously. I know that may not be the style you're using in a game. The only thing he does different in a game, instead of kicking, he just kind of strides. Which is again, fine. Because usually guys still a little bit harder. He's yeah. playing up and How you use your timing mechanism is up to you, as long as your tempo doesn't change. So, if by lifting the knee it slows you down a little bit, that works. What can't happen, as you shorten your stride or your leg doesn't lift up as much, whatever the case, you still have to go slow. If that speeds you up a bunch, then it's counterproductive. So, Canerico, the video I used on you previously, which I use a lot because it's very generic, doesn't lift his foot up very high either, but the tempo is very controlled. The body pace you are. out to foot down is real slow and smooth, which is what I want. So let's make sure that's happening in a game too. Otherwise, that's that's big improvement of one thing, uh, reducing that overload. Sometimes when you hit, instead of like getting through the ball, he'll hit, and then especially inside stuff, if you hit, and then they'll kind of come right here. Inside pitch, that's not uncommon really? because for you to get inside and through a ball, that's an inside pitch. You can have no swing error. The inside pitch is really the greatest test mechanically. So if he had to slide his bat over at all to get the barrel there, which is if he's not perfectly on time to that inside pitch, he's going to do that. The bat's going to continue to go off. Natural, natural. Like his, it's going to go off pretty natural. Hip. To most stuff, you know, pretty yeah. lucky and that, that, that inside pitch isn't he? That's why you see almost all the time, even with big league guys, when they hit a home run down the line, it doesn't have backspin. Slightly hooking, right? A lot of, a lot of foul balls hook yeah. around the pole or whatever. Because that inside pitch, I don't have any wiggle room for air. Right? So it's not uncommon on the inside pitch for you to see him kind of pull in and then the bat goes off his front hip. doesn't mean he's doing it wrong. Yeah. That's good, Chris. You improved. Trying to get From better. miles away, you got better. It's good.